Hall Effect and TMR joysticks are mentioned all the time when talking about controllers lately, but what are the differences between them and how are they better than regular joysticks? I'm going to try my best to explain it so anyone can understand. Let me know what kind of joysticks you enjoy using in the comments, and if you dig this video, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Alright, let's get into it. If you've picked up a controller in the last 25 years, then you're already familiar with potentiometer joysticks. Over the years, this technology has improved, but the basic science has mostly stayed the same. Inside of the joystick module, the potentiometers read your inputs based on mechanical components that rub together. This usually includes a sliding piece that rubs against copper pads which send the information to the controller's motherboard. These parts are always touching each other which leads to wear and tear over time and can cause stick drift. Stick drift is probably a term you've heard before, but if you haven't, it basically just means your stick moves in one direction without you touching it. This can be particularly frustrating in games that require precision. Console manufacturers like Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo use standard potentiometers in their controllers that drift and fail over time. Thankfully, for most modern console and PC gamers, third-party companies offer better options. In the last few years, some companies have started to use Hall Effect sticks in their controllers. Unlike standard potentiometers, Hall Effect sticks use a magnetic sensor to detect the stick's position. The magnetic field created by the stick's movement is measured and the digital signal is used as input. Since there's no physical contact between moving parts, there is significantly less wear and tear. Not only does that increase the joystick's lifespan, but also virtually eliminate stick drift. Hall Effect sticks also usually have better circularity, which provides a smoother, more consistent input. So what's the catch? Well, Hall Effect sticks tend to be pricier than standard joysticks, although the price has gone down over time. They can also have less accurate centering, requiring a larger inner dead zone to stay in the middle. For the majority of use cases, however, they're a noticeable upgrade from standard potentiometers. TMR, or Tunneling Magneto Resistance Joysticks, are the latest evolution of joystick technology. They offer a more advanced magnetic sensing mechanism that improves on what Hall Effect sticks can do. In technical terms, TMR sticks detect changes in the resistance of a magnetic tunnel junction as a magnetic field shifts, allowing for more detailed and accurate readings. Basically, they're just a better Hall Effect stick in just about every way. They offer higher resolution and sensitivity which translates to higher accuracy and consistency in games. TMR sticks are also more durable than Hall Effect sticks and consume less power. That means slightly better battery life most of the time. The main catch with TMR right now is that they're more expensive than Hall Effect sticks. But as the technology develops and more companies use them in their controllers, the price will come down. To highlight some of the differences between these joysticks, I'll be testing the linearity of a standard Xbox Series controller with potentiometers, the Flydigi Apex 5 with Hall Effect sticks, and the GameSir G7 Pro which uses TMR. This test will show their linearity, resolution, and how many data points they have. Think of these numbers like steps it takes to get from point A to point B. The more data points and higher resolution, the more information it's registering. Starting with the Xbox Series controller, you can see it has 471 data points and a 499 point resolution. Resolution. The Flydigi Apex 5 has 2,698 data points and a 510 point resolution. And the GameSir G7 Pro has 2,618 data points and a 2,403 point resolution. Clearly, each evolution of joystick technology shows an improvement during these tests. You should be able to feel the difference between them at home, especially if you're used to standard potentiometers. Hopping into some quick rounds of Call of Duty, I can clearly feel the differences between these controllers. The Xbox controller feels like your standard joystick, something you're probably familiar with. Switching over to the Apex 5, I can immediately feel a difference in smoothness and accuracy. And swapping to the G7 Pro is even smoother. Out of these three controllers, I'd say the G7 Pro feels the fastest and most responsive. Other factors like the polling rate and if you're using a wired or wireless connection can change how things feel, but in general, I think TMR sticks feel the best, especially for fast-paced shooters like this. <laughs> oh no, dog. Hopefully this guide has helped you understand the differences between these three joystick options. Let me know in the comments if you've noticed a difference when using Hall Effect or TMR sticks. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. If you want to see my full reviews of the GameSir G7 Pro and Flydigi Apex 5, they should be on your screen right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.